My name is Dr. Kurt Belk, and I'm a board-certified emergency physician and the medical director of the Urgency Room. I want to thank you for choosing us as your health care provider. The following video offers follow-up care instructions to your recent visit. I'm Dr. Susie Hafferman, a board-certified emergency room physician. You were probably in a lot of pain when you came to see us at the urgency room today. The doctor you saw diagnosed you with kidney stones. They're a common problem that can be extremely painful. Fortunately, kidney stones are usually not dangerous. Kidney stones are a mass of tiny crystals that form either in the kidneys or in the ureters. Ureters are the tubes that urine moves through from the kidneys to the urinary bladder. Kidney stones form from a variety of substances in the urine and are most commonly made up of calcium. Most kidney stones will pass out of your body on their own, but occasionally they will need to be removed by a urologist. Your healthcare provider at the urgency room sent you home with a urine strainer. Be sure to urinate into this or urinate into a container and pour the urine through the fine filter to catch the kidney stone as it comes out. The stone will seem like a pebble or grain of sand. Be sure to save this in a Ziploc bag and take it to the doctor's office with you so it can be examined. The biggest risk factor for kidney stones is not drinking enough fluids. Now that you're home, it's critical to keep yourself well hydrated. Stay active because exercise may help the stone pass. You can do any kind of exercise you're used to without restrictions as long as you feel up to it. There are several ways your urgency room doctor may have treated your kidney stones. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are pain relievers that are very effective for kidney stones. These medications include prescription medicines like Tordal and non-prescription medicines like ibuprofen. You may have received a prescription for a narcotic pain pill. If you've taken a narcotic such as codeine, hydrocodone, or oxycodone, don't drive for four hours after you've taken it. If the narcotics contains acetaminophen, don't take Tylenol with it. All narcotics will cause constipation, so make sure to eat a high fiber diet. Never let your pain get above a three or four on a scale of 10, where 10 is the worst pain imaginable. If you don't keep the pain under control, you may need to come back to see us for powerful pain medications. Since nausea and vomiting are common with kidney stones, your urgency room physician may have sent you home with medicine to control your nausea and make you feel better. Flomax is a medicine sometimes used for men with prostate problems, but it can also help kidney stones pass. Be aware that this medicine can lower blood pressure and you may feel faint, especially when you first stand up. Return to the urgency room if your pain is not controlled, you're vomiting and can't keep fluids or medications down, you develop a fever of more than 101, you feel much more ill or develop new symptoms. Occasionally, kidney stones create problems that don't show up right away. Make sure to follow up with your regular doctor within three days. And if you can't get in to see your own physician or have any new symptoms that scare you, come see us right away because we know how important it is to have the information you need about your health as quickly as possible. We hope you feel better soon. These videos are intended to provide helpful health information to the general public. They are not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice. You should not use this information to diagnose or treat health problems. And you should not use these videos in place of a call or visit to a medical professional. Talk with your physician about the proper treatment for your particular condition and always follow your physician's advice. If you think you need an ambulance or are experiencing a medical emergency, please dial 911 immediately.